Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Sincerely Paris. My name is Paris and I'm going to be doing a um, what I read in January and what I'm currently reading and um, what book um, I'm going to be reading next month. So um, I just want to start off this video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and make sure you subscribe and like this video um and also make sure to hit the bell to be notified when i post another video and also make sure to follow my socials um my socials is my instagram is sincerely paris and i think there's a one next to it or is that i don't know but make sure to um follow my socials i'll put them in the description um and yeah okay let's continue on to this video all right so the first book um that i'm going to be talking about is the book um the books that i read in january um so the first book is the deal by l kennedy and it's the first book in the off-campus series i've only read the first one so yeah in the time i do have the second book but i haven't read it yet um but yeah um i really really enjoyed this it really reminded me of icebreaker um and i've heard of the deal before icebreaker but i read icebreaker before the deal so now that i've read the deal it really reminds me of icebreaker and icebreaker if you guys don't know it's by hannah grace so yeah if you guys want to check it out it's a really really good read so yeah and i'll read the back for you guys um and i'll kind of tell you um what the book is about so yeah so the back says she's about to make a deal with a college bad boy hannah wells has finally found someone who turns her on but while she might be confident in every other area of her life she is carting around a full set of baggage when it comes to sex and seduction if she wants to get her crush's attention, she'll have to step out of her comfort zone and make him take notice. Even if it means tutoring the annoying childish cocky captain of the hockey team in exchange for a pretend date. And it's going to be oh so good. All Garrett Graham has ever wanted is to play professional hockey after graduation but his plummeting GPA is threatening everything he's worked so hard for. If helping a sarcastic brunette make another guy jealous will lift his grades and secure his position on the team, uh, he's all for it. <laughs> but when, but when one unexpected kiss leads to the wildest sex of both of their lives. It doesn't take long for Garrett to realize that pretend isn't going to cut it. Now he just has to convince Hannah that the man she wants to look a l the man she wants looks a lot like him. So yeah, that's what the back says, but yeah, so it's about um it's about Hannah and Garrett's love story and how um I don't I don't know if this would be spoiling anything but Hannah gets a really good grade and um most of the uh, most of her class fails um and she's she's one of the only persons who got a good grade so um, Garrett asks Hannah for help and yeah but she's not but she's not um, 
but she doesn't want to. But Garrett keeps convincing her and convincing her to do it. And yeah, and then yeah, we all know that it's a the romance. So yeah, um, and then this book, I would say it definitely was a really good book. Um, it's definitely spicy. I was not expecting all of the spice. Um, but yeah, like, but it was like, on honestly, there was like a whole chunk of this book. Like, if you just imagine like this, it's like this much, I guess. I don't know how to like, like explain it, but yeah, there was like a lot, a lot of it. Um, and that's also what kind of like the similarity to Icebreaker. It was like definitely a lot, a lot of things but yeah i feel like um hannah and garrett's romance is like really cute and really sweet so i really definitely enjoyed it and there was like a lot of funny parts um to this um love story so i really really did enjoy the deal so if you guys want to read this it's it's definitely a good book to read and I don't know why but I just love sports romance so I think I'm gonna get more sports romance if you guys have any like um rec rexum rexum recommendations um give them to me please I was like I was like kind of um wanting to get blindside i think it's like a it's like a football romance but i don't know i i forgot i think it's either it's either a football or something else i don't know but yeah i really did enjoy this and then um the next book that i read this month i actually finished reading this yesterday and it's the summer i turned pretty by jenny han i I'm not gonna say that I enjoyed this, but there were parts that were funny, and there were like really good parts. And the I think the thing was. Oh wait, let me read the back first, and then I will talk about m my opinions about it. So yeah, so it says when each summer begins, Belly leaves her school life behind and escapes to Cousins Beach, the place she has spent every summer of her life. Not only does the beach house mean home away from home, but her favorite people are there. Susanna, her mother's best friend, her, and her sons, Conrad and Jeremiah. Belly has been chasing Conrad for as long as she can remember. And more than anything, she hopes this summer will be different. Despite distractions from a new guy named Cam and lingering looks from Conrad's brother, Jeremiah, Belly's, Belly's heart belongs to Conrad. Will he offer his to her? Will this be the summer that changes everything? So, okay, let me talk about my opinions on this book because... I have a lot. Uh, well, not a lot, but it's just like, honestly, what made me not like this book was Belly herself, because Belly is, I felt like the show, I watched the show, guys, the first season, I was like, and I read the book, and I was like, you know what, like, there was like, some things that I felt like they should have added in the show and like in the in the book like like for example I don't want to like I don't think this is like spoiling anything because if you watch the show you would know that um Conrad and Jeremiah will have like been to this country club in um the cousin's each thing right so yeah but they only mention it once in this book once 
and I feel like in the show they basically were there the whole time so it's just that was weird and then also another thing um is that um the whole thing with I feel like um Belly and Jeremiah's relationship was like really great Jeremiah is so great and I feel like um I feel like that was kind of similar but not really because I don't want to spoil anything like if you guys never seen the show or read the book but I feel like between the show and the book that was different like the whole thing because it feels like ugh, I don't want to spoil it but I just have to say because like but Belly and Jeremiah, like, in the book, if, like, she did not lead him on, you know? But in the show, she went on to create a relationship with Jeremiah, which that did not make any sense in the book. I was like, wait, what? So that was confusing. And then, yeah. And then, um... Yeah, and then Belly's character, I mean, I'm, like, why is she so jealous of everything? Like, like, she's jealous of her friends, like, okay, but, like, I get, like, you could be jealous of your friend, but, like, to the extent that Belly was jealous of Taylor, it was, like, what? Like, I felt like Belly was being a terrible friend to Taylor. And I feel like Taylor... I feel like Taylor is a is an okay character, but I feel... I also feel like Taylor was... I feel like Taylor is... She... She's like... At least she is, like, confident and... You know, she doesn't have, it feels like her character doesn't have to be jealous. And I feel like Taylor, even though like Taylor did some weird stuff, I feel like Taylor was a better friend to Belly than Belly was to Taylor. And I don't understand, and honestly, I really don't understand how like people can be jealous of their friends like when i feel like it's just belly just needs me more confident in herself and i feel like that is the whole problem and she is just like she just i feel like she just needs to be more confident i think that's the problem she's not confident in herself and yeah and she just, and also she just makes everything about her and not, and she doesn't really think about others. Like she's just in her own, and like sometimes that could be a good thing, but like she's just in her own world and she's not thinking about how others feel. So, yeah. So, I just don't like belly but that's my opinion don't hate me on that but i do i feel like my favorite character was jeremiah because he was just being real he was being a real friend and not um and not being like after like he confessed to belly that he did have feelings for her um he he didn't stop being friends with belly after she said no so and after she said that she never thought of them that way it was never going to happen and blah 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 because obviously she's she's like it says right here in the book that um, where was it? I don't know. Hold on. Um. Uh. 
Oh, right here. It says in this sentence right here, it says, Belly's heart belongs to Conrad. So what makes you think that she is going to turn around and be like, oh, Jeremiah? No, she's not going to Jeremiah. And I feel like that would have been like a terrible move on Belly's part to be like switching up, you know, after like if con you know what let me just put my rating and then we'll move on to the next book because i'm not gonna rant on this book for like a whole like for 30 minutes so yeah this rating of the summer return pretty i gave it three stars um yeah i give it three stars i don't think it could be it could ever go higher than that um unless i read the other books which I probably won't anytime soon, but yeah, I'll probably like maybe read the second one. I don't know, but yeah, that was that. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the book that I am currently reading right now. So I am reading, hold on, <laughs> If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm really liking it so far. I'm on page 48 and 49. So, yeah, so I'm going to read the back right quick. So, if he had been with me, everything would have been different. Autumn and Finn used to be inseparable, but then something changed or they changed now they do their best to ignore each other. Autumn has her boyfriend, Jamie, and her close-knit group of friends. Finn has become that boy at school, the one everyone wants to be around. That still doesn't stop the way Autumn feels every time she and Finn cross paths and and the growing nagging thought that maybe things could have been different. Maybe they should have, maybe they should be together. And as time passes, Autumn realizes she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. So, yeah, so that's what the back says. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to give a prediction of the rating that I'm going to give it. And then also, yeah, so, um, there's supposed to be, like, a sad part to it. And, like, it's, so, this book is supposed to make you cry. Um, I'm really curious, like, what the sad part is. But, yeah, I feel like I'm going to give this, like, four stars maybe. Or, like, three and a half, four stars. I don't, I don't know. I think on Goodreads, like, this has been given four stars before. I think it is overall it average four stars, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with four stars. Um, or maybe it's, or maybe it's like a 4.5. Who knows? But for me, but I've definitely given close to five stars before, but I've never read a five-star book before. So I'm sure I'll get there. But yeah, this is what I'm currently reading. I don't know if I'm going to finish this before the year is up. But I hope that I do. Because I only have like two days. So I have today and tomorrow. And then that's going to be the last. Um, those are going to be the last of the month. Two days of the month. So I hope that I can like, you know, get re really good far in this book. And then tomorrow i'll like try really really hard to finish this book so yeah and then the last book that we're going to be talking about today is this one i've been wanting to read for the longest time because yeah and i wanted to do a video on this but i think that i'm just gonna do a, like a reading vlog i've never done a reading vlog but um i think i'm gonna do something like that for this book um and like just because it's this the kind of video it would take me like a couple months to like do because i have like 
maybe like four or five so it take me like i don't know how long it's gonna take me to read this but yeah i really want to like sit down and read this book but um i really want to read this for february so it's pride and prejudice <laughs> i'm so excited this is my favorite movie um so i really wanted to read the book um and guys this book i was like trying to find like a really pretty cover but i was like i really really want to do this video that i've been planning and also like this was like the the this was the only one that i could find but this one's pretty too it's a penguin classic but i really want to find like a really i want to find like the perfect one and then i'll like this will be like my because i really want to annotate this too so this will be my annotated copy and then i'll get like another pride and prejudice and i will like um i will like get another one and it'll just be on display so yeah that one will not be written in but this one will um so yeah because i'm gonna go in and read it and underline it and tab it and maybe highlight i don't really highlight necessarily but sometimes sometimes i want to highlight but i'm just like i'm scared that the page like it'll bleed the page through the page and like it'll mess it up so yeah i haven't really highlighted anything in my books yet like for like annotating i haven't annotated in a while though but um oh so yeah oh my gosh that notification scared me um but yeah so i'm going to be reading pride and prejudice by jane austen next month in february it's this is a romance every i feel like everybody knows um what pride and prejudice is because everybody knows jane austen so yeah but i'll read the back for you guys uh too so it says the best loved book by your best loved novelist um by independent i don't know who that is maybe it's like a publishing company or something i don't know or a magazine probably i don't i don't know who knows i don't know okay uh, with its light and bright and sparkling dialogue, its romantic den yun, I don't even know what that word says. I've never heard of that word. Den yunment, den yunin, den yunment, I have no idea how you say that word, but let's just skip over. And its lively heroine. Pride and Prejudice is Jane Austen's most, hold on, Peren, I hate when like there's like these like things, you know, where it just like, I it takes me a while to like get it, but like peren, perennially, I don't know what that word is, I don't know, I hate that, because <laughs> I, I never... Like, I can't understand, like, I can't put the pieces together, but anyways, <laughs> popular novel. The love story of Elizabeth Bennet and Fitzwilliam Darcy, who misjudge, then challenge and change each other, is also a novel about the search for happiness and self-knowledge in a world of strict social rules where a woman must marry well to survive so yeah this this book was oh this book was cheap it was nine dollars wow because like i was expecting like classics to be like really expensive but i think it's just the hardbacks that are really really expensive so yeah because like I was online because I was like searching for like hardbacks because I was gonna get something online for like the sale and stuff and I was like I really shouldn't be spending this money anyway so I didn't get do the 50% sale on Barnes & Noble but online but 
There was a book that was $28 for a freaking book. Oh my gosh. That, like, honestly, that's the most expensive um, hardback I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I've seen a book for $50, but, like, that was crazy. But also, a book for $28? Oh my gosh, that's absolutely crazy to me. But, yeah, so this was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on my socials. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.